All right. Hello, everybody. And uh, hello, Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean, how are you doing? Today we have an interview with Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean, why you choose Islam, Mr. Bean? Ah, okay. That's very uh, interesting answer, Mr. Bean. And what is the reason really behind you uh, choosing Islam, Mr. Bean? Mm -mm. Um, mm -mm. Um, mm. Oh, okay, you are saying you did not choose Islam, but uh, uh, someone his name is Muhammad Hijab. He chose Islam. <laughs> I saw a video, you know, YouTube keep uh, recommending videos for me, and it's really interesting. I saw this video, which is very interesting. It's called Why Did Muhammad Hijab Choose Islam? What I mean, are you serious? This is the title of the video, but as I know, Muhammad Hijab did not choose Islam. Since when was Muhammad the Hijab a person who was not a Muslim, and then he chose Islam? Oh, oh, you want to say that he chose Islam after he became adult? Yes, he's born as a Muslim. But he chose Islam, but this is not what your prophet said. Your prophet said every human being he born as a Muslim. And actually, your prophet he says the opposite. That everyone is born as a Muslim, and then his parents make him a Christian or a Jew. So in the case of Muhammad Hijab, nothing changed. He was born as a Muslim and his parents made him a Muslim. <laughs> and by the way, this uh, this story here where Muhammad, he said that everyone is born as a Muslim, proving to us that Muhammad is a false prophet. Because if everyone is born as a Muslim and then he become a Christian or a Jew or his parents make him something, that's mean we should not break that rule. That's mean if somebody is born as a Christian should stay as a Christian because his parents are a Christian would make him a Christian That's what he said and here by the way you notice Muhammad he said Speaking about everyone is born as a Muslim and suddenly he jumped to speak about Mary and her son Which Satan he could not touch them and I find that very embarrassing because Satan touch every human being but he cannot touch Jesus and he can't touch Muhammad, and he can't, uh, can't touch, uh, I mean, Muhammad the prophet, supposedly. But he cannot even get close to Jesus and Mary. And I'm not sure what the connection between everyone is born as a Muslim, and then he jumped to speak about Mary and uh, her son, Jesus, who Shaitan cannot touch them. Hmm. I think I get a conclusion here, that everyone is born as a Muslim, and then Shaitan touched him and he became a prophet like Muhammad. But in the case of Jesus, nobody can touch him, so he is not a sinner and he is not a criminal. You see, I wish I can play for you the video where those Muslims doing a monologue, speaking to each other, fabricating lies about why he chose Islam. First, he cannot choose Islam because he cannot leave Islam. The prophet of Islam, he said, the one who changed his religion, kill him. So why you are asking and saying why you choose Islam if he is born as a Muslim and he cannot leave Islam? Somebody cannot leave Islam and somebody he cannot convert to Islam because he is born as a Muslim, which means he did not choose Islam. So why you are lying and the title says why he chose Islam? And why hijab, Mimi hijab, he said, huh. I chose Islam after studying many things like mathematical miracles and scientific miracles and the language of the Quran and I, this is confirmed to me that Quran the book the Quran is 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 uh, there is no way this is cannot be made by a human I mean what do you mean you study uh, the Quran uh, you choose Islam because of that or because you cannot leave Islam and you are born as a Muslim again Muhammad Hijab proved that his prophet is a liar because your prophet said you are born as a Muslim and your parents keep you as a Muslim. It's not your choice. And not only that, actually, when we say, when Muhammad, he said, everyone is born as a Muslim, that's mean Allah, he made a destiny for every one of us to be a Muslim.
in the same hadith we are talking about actually we find later Muhammad claiming that you know they ask him about uh, uh, what if somebody of those babies who uh, they are born as a Muslim and he die where he will go you see what if a baby baby Christian infant he die as long as everybody die as a Muslim if he is if if, if everyone is born as a Muslim where he should go the answer should be heaven right look what they asked Muhammad about that they said to him that everyone is a uh, he, he said he, everyone is a born as a Muslim and then they said to him oh Allah Apostle what do you think about those who die young which mean children infant look what Muhammad he said he said the Prophet Allah knows what they would have done where they were alive they are infant between two bracket where they alive or where they you know where they to live where are they to live what does that mean what does that mean here you see Muhammad he contradict himself he got himself busted because if you are a child and you are born as a Muslim where a child who is born as a Muslim who commit no sin should go Muhammad is not sure that's mean Islam is a joke and Islam does not bring you salvation because if even if you are a child who never commit a sin that is not a guarantee of salvation actually in different hadith Muhammad he have an argument with Aisha where she said to him after attending a funeral of a Muslim baby infant and she said to him ah this child he will happiness for this child for he is a bird from the bird of paradise for he commit no sin and, and, and did not even reach the age of sin this is the idea of Aisha the child who was born of a Muslim family Muhammad he said confirm we showed you the hadith that he is a Muslim okay so now this guy everyone is born not only from a Muslim family everyone is born as a Muslim that's what Muhammad said in this case here we have a, a born from a Muslim family and for sure he is a Muslim because everyone is born as a Muslim anyway and he is an infant and he died and Aisha she think he would be a bird from birds of paradise Muhammad he said to her don't be stupid it might be the other way as she said happiness for this child who is a bird from the birds of paradise for it commit no sin nor has it reached the age when one can commit sin he said Aisha per adventure it may be the other way because Allah not God Allah created for paradise those who fit for it while they were in their father Lions actually it doesn't say lions. It says backbone And created for hell those who fit for hell, okay, so what Muhammad saying that you are not the one who choose where you will go You see how we get Muslim busted This is your prophet saying we do not choose where to go This is even an infant child who is born of Al Ansar which are Muslims and he died and he reached no age of sin and he never commits sin he's an infant who is sucking his finger Muhammad he believed that this is not the scenario you believe that he is because he's a child he commit no sin he will go to heaven this is a mistake why because Allah created those who will go to hell when they were in the backbone of their father which means it's not what you do it's not who you are it's what Allah he choose for you and here you see the deception of Muslims when they try to make like it I choose Islam this is even against Islam to say so it's against Islam to say I choose heaven because you did not choose anything it's against Islam to say if I convert to Islam I will go to heaven because it's, this is a lie according to Islam and your prophet getting you busted so look at the fabrication this person is born of a Muslim family he's an Egyptian and he cannot leave Islam and yet the title of the video why did he choose Islam what a fabrication 
and then their prophet says no nobody chose Islam it is Allah who made you choose for you what you will be and this is what the Muslim believe it's called Al-Qadar which is the destiny if you remember the story of Adam and uh, Moses Moses and Adam supposedly they have a debate and this is one of the fantasy of the prophet so-called the prophet of Allah because neither Adam neither Moses can ever be met in because supposedly both of them are dead and according to Muhammad all those prophets are dead and he is the one the first one to be resurrected so where Adam and Ad and and, uh, and Moses they met fantasy stupidity and lies and fictions and whatever the prophet says we believe in it so here we see that Muhammad speaking about Moses and Adam having a debate. Moses says to Adam, because of you, we are out of heaven. Adam says to Musa, are you a fool or what? Are you a fool or what? Allah, he wrote for me the sin I will do 40 years before my creation. Read it in front of your eyes. The Prophet said Adam and Moses argued with each other Moses says to Adam Adam you are our father which who disappointed us which mean Moses accusing Adam that he did sin because of you we are disappointed and because of you we are turned out of paradise then Adam said to him, O oh Moses, Allah favored you with his talk. Uh, he did not favor Muhammad with his talk. That's weird. And then he says to him, and he wrote even the book in his hand. Allah did not write the book of Muhammad by his hand. Yet the Muslim, they say that Allah favored Muhammad. The book of Moses written by the hands of Allah. The book of Muhammad looked like it's written by the toes of Allah. Yet you blame me for an action which Allah had written in my faith 40 years before my creation? What does that mean? That means we do not make decision, we do not choose faith, and we do not choose to be, to do be sinner or not to be sinner, which means, is it, a, is it sin to believe, uh, not to believe in Islam? Yes, supposedly according to Islam. And this is sin too, what Adam did. So Adam saying, you know, are you a fool or what? Don't you know that Allah He wrote for me my destiny, the sin I will make, which I have no choice but to do. It's my fate 40 years before my creation. And here you see Muhammad saying, Ah, and Adam confuted Musa's, and he repeat that three times because Muhammad is a Trinity guy. Everything he do is a Trinity. So why they lie to us when they make their videos? In this hadith here, and by the way, those all are sahih. So they cannot say this is weak and, you know, the game, you know, about uh, weak and potato, tomato, you know. It's a, the, the, the Islam is weak. When they want, they make it, make it weak. When they want, they make it strong. As an example, they say to you, the prophet, he says, in Islam, there's no differentiation between a free and slave. Between white and black, and this is not this hadith is not even exist, it's fabricated. But we see every Muslim quoting it for us. And here Muhammad he says, Do you blame me? Musa supposedly in his debate with Adam, Adam said to him, Do you blame me for doing deed which Allah had decreed that I should do? I should do. I should I should hey, Muslims. Let me let me put for you a line and that I should do because I know that you don't uh, uh, you, you are suffering from uh, weak vision I should do What is what does that mean? It's mean I don't have a choice to commit sin or not So believing in Islam is a destiny Sin your sin is a destiny What do you do is a destiny and this is mean that Islam is a stupid destiny Because you believe or not, it's a destiny. You convert to Islam or not, it's a destiny. To be a Hindu 
or not to be is a destiny to be an atheist is a destiny Allah he made a destiny for you so you have no choice to choose or not this is how silly and stupid this cult is and yet they say I choose Islam because I found a lot of scientific miracles in the Quran like what now who is the brave from those potatoes who dare to call me or accept to debate me and they keep running away from me to tell me where is the scientific miracles in the Quran I want to see them brother like which one like this one about beating women because this is science brother the science of family and socialism if you beat your wife your wife she would be a better human being is that science or this is stupidity scourge your wife that is the science of socialism of Allah I never heard if we beat a person he would be a better person since when since when you make a human being obey a man just because she is a female because she is weak we take advantage that she is she cannot resist our violence because we are men and we beat her and scourge her in order to make her subdued to obey the man and that is the science of Allah you do that to your wife she would cheat on you I guarantee you that the second you leave the house somebody nice guy he will come to her say nice words she will take off her panty and this is why Muhammad himself his wife they cheated on him and they accuse Aisha that she stepped around or maybe the science is this one where it says that the Sun sit in the murky water and the Muslims in order to defend the stupid Quran they say no 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 it doesn't say that this is how Zul Qurnayn he thought it is it doesn't say that the one is talking is Allah Allah he said tell when he reached the sitting place of the Sun who is talking Allah and then Allah he says he found it when you say he found it it's not the same when you say he thought it's sitting in murky water he said he found it so Allah reporting a find so he reported in this story two things that he reached a place where the sun set what is that where is that location I want to see it I thought the sun set everywhere you do not need to go to a road to find where the sun set the sun set next to my window my friend I do not need to go to the end of the earth to find where the sun set I see it every day and then he says he found that the one is talking is who is Allah speaking about the find not the thought so they try to fabricate says no it doesn't say that this is how he thought but we got them busted because Muhammad he cannot keep his mouth shut Muhammad he said that the Sun sit in the murky water maybe the Muslims they understand what it's meant in this verse better than their Prophet what is science you are talking about in the Quran is that the, uh, maybe this one maybe this one where it says that we made the sperm into a congeal the blood hmm. the God of the Quran teaching that the sperm transform into blood and this is absolutely foolish and stupid and then the blood transform into a, a, a loop not fetus here the between two brackets does not exist in the Quran and then the loom became a bones and then we close the bones with the flesh go and read study go a little bit in uh, in Google and see that this is all is I don't want to sue I want to I don't want to use the word bull uh, you know s h i t is that the science you are talking about or maybe the science is what your prophet said that women they have uh, sperm coming from their ribs in chapter 86 verse number six and seven and the man have a sperm coming from his backbone 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 what you're gonna do and maybe maybe the science you meant is what your prophet said that a human being his sperm stay and live for 50 days is that science and your God he said and your prophet he said remember anything Muhammad he say it is from the God of, of Islam isn't it your God who says that the last thing Allah he decide 
in the creation is male or female as you see in the front of you is that what science says science says that the first thing decided already by the sperm is male or female not the last thing so look what Muhammad he said that Allah he gathered us as a drop of semen in fact we are just you know like a <laughs> When when the when the fert, uh, the fertilizing happened for the egg, it was it's only one semen, not a drop. What a drop! Muhammad he says nutfa in the Quran, chapter twenty three, that nutfa transform into a congealed blood, but nutfa is millions and billions of of, of semen. And, the, and Muhammad explained he says a drop of semen remain in the womb for forty days or fifty days, according to science, my friend. Semen can live maximum of five days. You can search it right now in Google. Right now, search it in Google. So what do you mean that you search the scientific miracle of the Quran and you found that there is no way that this is a from a human? For sure, it's not from a human. This is an idiot. This is not from a normal human. This is from somebody is an idiot. Or maybe, maybe you meant that this is scientifically proven to be true because your prophet said, if the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy, resemble the father, and if the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl, resemble the mother. And this is a proven to be scientifically accurate. And this is why, actually, if I get married, I will never have orgasm first because I don't want my son to look like me. This is horrible. I mean, look how silly those people are. They are saying to us that we found a lot of scientific miracles on the Quran. We did not even start talking about the garbage there. And they claim that they studied the Quran carefully. Somebody saying, I challenge you to not uh, to debate Abu. Uh, uh, what uh, uh, are you just joking or what? <laughs> Fix your Arabic. The word you are using there is a stupid. Are you using Google? Yeah, and what if the men and the women they have they have orgasm together? What will happen to Muhammad? The baby will be an elephant. Where is the hail made of uh, made in? Sure, sure, we can show you that. But you know, this is by the way the the story of the hail is uh, there is a scientific uh, a scientist from Japan. He found that this is a true. Yeah. A scientific discovery all everything in the Quran is a scientific discovery anything I mean you name it brother Muhammad he don't say things unless it is scientifically accurate you know by the way if there's any Muslim would like to uh, to uh, to call us uh, filler free do we have any Muslim if there's any Muslim when I call us I'm serious by the way as you know I'm here always for helping the Muslims who is a Muslim feel, feel like you want to call us because maybe you can explain to us the following verses where it says how Allah he created the, the hill Any Muslim want to tell us? Nader Zain Khair Allah for Skype. Guys, a Muslim saying to me, debate is guy, his name, whatever. Okay, well, here we go. Let him call me. So we can laugh. Is he in Skype right now? Let me open Skype. Hold on. Hmm. We are here every day. Don't tell me now that debate this guy and that guy. Oh, we bring him. Grab him from his nose. All right, here we go. My Skype is open. Why you don't ask your 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 uh, your sheikh to call me right now? 
Hmm? My Skype is open. I have no call from anyone. And actually, if I receive a call, people will hear it. So look what the Quran says about where the hell is coming from. Chapter 24, verse number 43. Didn't you say, brother, didn't you say that Allah, he make the clouds? Allah make the clouds? I don't think it's Allah who make the cloud. What I know that the one who make the cloud is the vibration of, uh, or let's say, uh, the water of the ocean, which became a steam, and that will gather in the sky, and that will make a cloud. What Allah will make cloud? What Allah have to do with the cloud? You know, I can accept that. Okay, you want to say that God He made everything? No problem. But don't explain and say Allah made the cloud and He is the one who move it. And He joined them together, and make them into a hip, <coughs> hip. Hippie, hippie, hippie. Then don't you see the rain issue forth from, from the midst? And then he sent down from the sky mountain mess of a cloud wherein is hail. The biggest filthy liar interpretation ever I saw. Where it says from the sky mountain messes of uh, masses of a, of a cloud wherein is here where it says that in Arabic it says and he sent down from the sky from mountain in it which means the sky where is hail to hit with it whoever he wish this translation is absolutely false let us do this we are not going to use a Christian translation. We will use Muslim Muhammadan translation. And in a second, you will see how Muslim translation does, does not match with Muslim translation because both are lying. This is big tell. I want to show you how, the, how, how things have changed. He sent down from the heaven mountains wherein is hell. <laughs> It must be this is a scientific miracle. So Allah He sent hail from mountains which is in heaven, and He submit this hail into the one who He don't like. And you are telling me we decided to uh, uh, to accept Islam because it's full of scientific miracle. Do we have any uh, Muhammad? I want to say something. Yeah, Mr. Football. She knew how to Khali it. So for you, Khali it. So Khali sahabak it. So good. I had to solve Christian Prince. Hey, Mr. Football. Don't repeat, you know, why you don't debate this guy. Everybody is any Muslim is willing, uh, welcome to call me. Anyone, it could be your big, uh, small Allah Akbar is welcome. Allah Asghar is welcome. We take Akbar, we take Asghar. Asghar is okay. Akbar is okay. Choose which one you want. So you have Muslim Akbar, we take him. Because Akbar means bigger. You have Asghar, which means smaller. We take him too. So what I can do? I mean, I'm going to go and big Muslims to call me. What do you don't call me yourself instead of crying? So the God of Islam, he believed that in the heaven he have mountains of hail and he break hail from there and he throw it at us and this is why mr hijab he choose mimi hijab he choose islam brother as long as, a, as as if it's a choice your prophet says the one who leave islam kill him so you did not choose islam you are a liar you cannot even leave islam So why they lie? So there is hail inside mountain. No, the mountains are mountains of hail. Those mountains are mountains of hail. I know that you are not understanding what's happening here. I will, okay, I, I will try to, to make it simple for you. The best way to understand the logic of Allah is to open your TV 
and watch a little bit uh, English uh, Johnny English or mr. Bean and then you will notice that Allah is saying the truth I mean why you are not getting it like what's wrong with you it's clear in the heaven there is mountains which is mountains of hail and when Allah he decided to hit somebody with the hail he break hail from those mountains very simple why you are making it complicated you see those kuffar brother they play that they are not understanding because they are trying to avoid the brother the amazing science of Allah But where you can where you can run from Mr. Bean or Johnny English? Yeah, the translation always you see translation. Okay, let us do this. What about we go and see the interpretation for this uh, Quran? Shall we? We can go to the interpretation, chapter twenty-four, verse number forty-three. I don't know if uh, the website of the King of Jordan will work because nothing, nothing work in this kingdom, Jordan. It's bankrupt. Nothing. Neither the king, neither his website. All right. This is Tafsir Jalalain. The website is working, which is kind of strange. Something wrong happened in, in Jordan. This is unusual for the kingdom. And one of the funny things, by the way, when the Quran says, haven't you seen God drive the cloud? No, we did not see God driving the cloud. No, we did not see that. And by the way, do you know how Allah drive the cloud? Who remember? Who remember how Allah drive the cloud? Anyone remember? Who remember? Tafsir mean interpretation, interpretation for the Quran by Muslim scholar. Yeah, Allah He drive the Quran, Allah He drive the cloud in chapter thirteen, verse number thirteen, by beating them by a fire belt, <laughs> and actually a cloud. Mister Rad, Rad, he, uh, the Rad is in Arabic is a word mean thunder. According to the Quran, thunder is an angel. His job is to drive the cloud. We will go there after we finish this. But look at this, and he sent down from heaven out of mountains, min heaven. He sent what? He sent from mountains in the heaven. He sent down hail. So in the heaven of Allah, there is mountains, mountains of hail. And from those mountains, Allah take hail and he throw it at the one he don't like. And remember, this is not my interpretation. This is the interpretation of Muhammad scholars. Hmm? A, a, a modern you see uh, this is what, what you said is very stupid because Jesus said Jesus said to the Jews what do you say about the Messiah he said he is son of David Jesus says well if he is a son of David then how David call him my God so don't be silly a Muslim who do not even know his religion he's trying to talk about ours unbelievable change your diaper please or let your dad call me they cannot even and look how they try to change the topic the Muslim desperately like you now he is sitting in his chair and the chair is in fire I need to change the topic let me talk about Jesus they are getting Allah busted Allah should not say that that the hail is coming from mountains in heaven we cannot continue talking about that because people will leave Islam if we keep going we need to change the topic let us talk about Jesus what Jesus have to do with our topic now and okay you know uh, modern DHE, you are DHE, you are DHL too. What about you call me and you ask me the question about Jesus and you answer me about this question? Is that fair, guys? Is that fair? 
call me right now ask me the question you posted in the text I will answer you and I want you to answer me about this in the Quran it says that Allah he sent mount send from mountains in heaven hail do you dare he is not the son of David this is by birth you idiot Jesus is not the son of David but by birth he is he is born of Mary and her husband is Joseph so by birth he is but even your God in the Quran says that Mary she have no man so by birth he is a son of the, the son of 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 of David but in reality he is a son of nobody he is son of God we answered you what about Allah saying that hail coming from mountains in heaven do you have an answer you don't you see we have our Skype open for all those who claim to be knowledgeable in Islam but yet they don't dare to call us they don't dare by the way uh, I will tell you something a secret this is between me and you uh, once Allah he hit me I was walking down street la 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 and Allah hit me da la 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 uh, I, I I felt something in my head and I look I found the heel and I said oh, oh Allah is hitting me now so what I did I took the hat I have in my head I put it in an in, in a guy his name is Muhammad and looked like Allah he was aiming at my hat not at me they told him a Christian prince he wear a hat it says uh, Jesus is God so I put the hat in the top of a Muhammadan and Allah start hitting that guy and no hail come to me brother this is a true story brother if you don't believe me brother in Tittar open Tahil Bukhari so what do you think about this madness how Islam is from God and your God he do not know how hail is made and he is saying that there's mountains of hail flying did, did you watch Avatar Do you think guys that Allah he was watching Avatar the movie Avatar you know remember it where mountains are flying in the sky Avatar Mm. Brother, brother. So all what we need to do, we need just to forget about those mountains that they are uh, from rocks as they see and appear in the picture. Uh, just imagine that they are uh, mountains of hail. So what Allah He do, He come to those mountains, and they are white. Supposed to we can change the color for you. And he break from them here and he throw it at us. And by the way, this is very scientific. And now, if you don't believe in Allah to be God, you must now admit in that he is God. Why did God speak through a donkey? Okay, listen, listen, guys. Do you dare to call me and say to me the question you just asked? Guys, do you think he there? This guy, he keep posting the same question in the text. I will finish my broadcast and he will post this. Why God is spoken through a donkey? <laughs> and my friend, why Allah spoke through a wolf to Muhammad, through a wizard, through a donkey? Do you want to show you? Allah, he made a donkey speak to Muhammad. His name is Yafur and your prophet, he asked him, do you like females? So you do you dare to call me? And I want you to promise me that if this is a true, if this is written in the Bible, Christianity is false. And if Islam, written in Islam, that means Islam is false. Do you dare to do it? Do you dare? You don't dare. You don't. Anyway, let me let me block you. I'm just here to disturb. I'm trying just to force you to call me. All right, the only one now you can you can do it is to call me and be a man. I'm not going to waste my time with kids. 
and he will go and he will pose the same questions down in the text in the channel because he is so upset why people by thousands are leaving Islam watching our videos avatar the sun set in the murky water the baby is born I mean what is that and the Muslims they have thousands and thousands of videos about science and the Quran by the way I have books exposing your uh, science both books deception of Allah and Quran and science they complete each other and they get every claim of scientific miracle in the Quran busted with no mercy and actually not only busted it turned into a comedy because guess what what Muslims claim it is science it is the opposite and it's getting Muhammad busted which means every claim of science in the Quran proving to us that Muhammad is a false prophet And you Muslims are really upset because what you can do about it? What you can do about it? Can you prove us wrong? You cannot. I am here every day and my Skype is open. And all of you are scared to death. And people are leaving Islam left and right. You like it, you don't like it. You hit the cross, we have it. What you can do about it? We don't worship the cross. You are the one who kissed a black stone and you believe that the black stone will forgive your sin. We don't believe any cross will forgive sin. The one who forgives sin is God. You Muslims believe in a black stone and the Yemeni corner. If you touch them, they forgive your sin. Pure pagan cult. So what do you say? Any Muslim have an objection? Anyone? So when they make their videos, propaganda videos, it's just to fool you. And by the way, we did not even start yet talking about you know scientific errors in the Quran. Because if I want to, if I want to make a, I mean, I have books, hundreds of pages speaking about the errors of the Quran. How I can summarize for you what is in the books, hundreds of pages, and even in my books, I I could not cover all the stupid mistakes in the Quran. I cover maybe maybe five percent only because the whole book is an error the name of the book is an error we know we don't have in arabic something is called quran that's a, it's a that's a mistake the first thing the muslim they say to us when they pray they say bismillahir rahmanir rahim there's nothing in arabic it's called bism that is an error if you write the word bism and you are taking an exam if there is no Quran you will get zero the teacher will kick you out from the classroom but because it's written in the Quran wrongly so you can write it now Bism if Allah he got it wrong why you cannot get it wrong if you go in the first verse in the Quran the first one look at this look at this The one is talking supposedly is Allah. Yet Allah, he do not know how to pronounce the word bism. The word bism became bism. 
in Arabic we don't have bism we have be ism the Muslim they say ah uh, <clears throat> uh, we took uh, the alif off because that is easier for a pronunciation uh -huh. I thought the Quran not even one letter is missing right Yeah. Uh, we found the mountain where the mountains are flying. Here we go. Somebody sent me this picture here. Look, we found it. Man, Allah was right. There is a hill, uh, hill mountains flying in the sky. Here we go. See, brother, there's, this is a mountain is flying. Yeah. You see, it's above the cloud. And Allah, He take hill from there and He throw it at us. This is uh, scientifically proven to be true. What do you want more? Why you why you people are not why you are arrogant? So the deception is amazing. The lies is beyond uh, uh, imagination. They assume that you are, you know, those uh, those kind of lies is is made for two reasons. For the observation of the Muslims who love to hear those lies, but the Muslim when he hear it, he feel comfortable. It's like a drugs. Lie to me, lie to me. Yeah, Allah is a great. Yeah, Allah, the Quran is amazing. Yes, I agree with you. Yeah, but you don't want to hear the truth because the truth hurt. Did you ask yourself, Muslims, why you don't have a speaker corner in Saudi Arabia? A brother. A brother, nobody, nobody Arab brother, brother from the Arab ever dispute the Quran, brother. You kill them. You will kill them in two seconds. When, when the last time we have a speaker corner, it was before Muhammad exactly. Before Muhammad, there was a market, it's called the Bazaar of Uqaz. And the Bazaar of the Kaaba. And continue through history until Muhammad he came to exist. When Muhammad he came, nobody dared to speak around the Kaaba. You see, the Muslim themselves they say around the Kaaba there was a 360 idol, which means 360 religion at least. Nobody is killing anyone. Everybody standing in front of his idol, preaching for his idol. Arab are living in harmony with worshiping different gods. Christian living there, Jews living there, not we can say really Christian, we can say a, a Christian cult living there, but yet everybody is living peace, including the Jews. Muhammad came, everybody is killing everybody. 360 religion living around the Kaaba, and peace was in Mecca. Muhammad come, war come with him. The devil in charge. Do we have any Muslim? Have any anything to say? May they, may they. You see, we have open invitation for the Muhammadan to call us to prove us wrong. Anyone? Not even one single brave Muslim? Shall we call Zakir Naik? One of the funny things about Islam, Islam is not a spiritual religion. Islam is a ritual religion. And what does ritual mean? It means you have to do certain things in order to make God not to be angry from you. Anger. So by believing in Allah is just to stop his anger. 
and what what we when we pray we don't pray we repeat his words because look this is the Muslim prayer in front of your eyes but this is not his own prayer this is the most this this is a law word supposedly so what the point you are not praying you are repeating what he said so you have five time a day to call Allah in certain time if you miss it Allah is angry and you have to say to Allah words he said not you said exactly word by word in his language which is Arabic so if you are an Indian it doesn't work if you are in English it doesn't work if you are a Norwegian it doesn't work you have to say it in Arabic and here you see the supremacist Arab culture where the Arab they subdued anyone who convert to Islam to be become a slave of the Arab you have to speak our language oh sorry you don't have to speak our language you have to pray in our language for our God is an Arab God when Jesus he sent his disciples he sent them and he gave them the power to speak all languages he did not say go and teach people in Hebrew oh I favor the Aramaic no go and teach the whole world and he sent them and everyone to speak a language or languages in Islam no but look because Muhammad is a false prophet and he cannot keep his mouth shut the more he talk the more he get himself busted because the Quran says that Allah never send a messenger unless he speak the language of his people which means he have to be from the people speaking the language of the people so how Muhammad can be international prophet as the Muslim they claim we never sent never we never who saying that Allah we never send the messenger save with language of his folk do you see it so he have to be from the folk speaking the language of those folk so how Muhammad is a prophet for Zakir Naik this is a clear contradiction and by the way Mimi hijab in his video he says the Quran brother the Quran says if there is contradiction brother you will find it in the Quran it's in the front of you How Allah never sent the messenger except to his folk? Isn't it Musa was sent to the Pharaoh? Is Musa from the Egyptian? Wasn't Harun, the brother of Moses, according to the Quran, sent to the Pharaoh? Was Harun an Egyptian? The Quran will never send. Quran saying clearly, we never send the messenger except he speak the language of his folk. He is from the people. Actually, in Arabic, it says, just to make it more clear. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ رَسُولٍ إِلَّا بِلِسَانِ قَوْمِهِ Not only his folk, his people, they have to be his people, which means he have to be one of them, speak in their language. And what is the purpose? In order to make it clear for them. So how a Muslim from India, he will, or Bangladesh, he will, the Quran will make it clear for him. You Arab who speak Arabic, you don't even understand the Quran. And even the Quran says nobody understand the Quran save Allah. <clears throat> yeah, the Muslim husband he's allowed to beat his wife, but my friend, according to the Muslim translation, he beat her lightly. To the point only he can make her skin greener than the clothing. This is how light it is. The Muslim they are the word light. Have you ever heard of a light beating? I want to beat you hey uh, my wife you disobey me and I'm going to beat you lightly <laughs> you are tickling me this is the light beating <laughs> I'm laughing what, what do you mean lighting light, light light beating aren't you supposedly punishing her for being disobedient so she is disobedient and now you wanna beat her and you Muslims lie in the translation and you says lightly so what are you tickling her is that to force her to obey you or to force her to laugh 
look how they try to fabricate and how they try you see for centuries the muslims they never never care to say yes we beat them actually there's videos all over youtube saying the why your wife you have to beat her muhammad hijab himself he have a he have a video about yes the women should be beaten sometime because they deserve that he said that Do we have any Muslim want to say something? You see, a man he beat a woman. First of all, he is not a man. If your wife she is not good with you, let her go. Let her go. Why you want to beat her? You want to beat her to force her to go to bed? What kind of a man you are? You are a rapist. You see, a man who forces a woman, she is even if she is his wife, to go to bed, he is raping that woman. A rape is rape. It doesn't matter you do it to who. You do it to a woman, she is your wife, or you do it to a woman, she is a stranger, because you are taking her against her will. That is nothing but a rape. Coward behavior. Any Muhammad or Muhammadan? anyone thank you basic thank you and thank you guys for those who say hello etc and even the ones who make donation I don't say because you know I'm always uh, concentrating on my topic and uh, for sure uh, I know I see your comment I uh, I appreciate your love and your uh, 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 your blessing but uh, we try to follow up with everybody question to help everybody yeah, you can beat your husband. Yeah. Actually, Muhammad himself, his wife was beating him. Actually, you know, if you go right now and you search, you will find that number one violence in Algeria and Morocco is women beating their husbands. Muslim women are really violent. I'm telling you. You know? So Muhammad, he was saying, beat your wives. But the fact that what happened in the ground, those Muslims, they are, you know, go check. According to study, number one complaint in the police stations, it's husbands complaining that their wives did beat them or kick them out of the house. He's asking the police to open the door for him. Hmm? Even Muhammad, you see, in the, in the Quran, in the Quran, there is a story where it says that the wives of Muhammad, they have a strike against Muhammad. Let me show you what happened. Just to show you the true the character of Muhammad. Two women, they have a fight with Muhammad. But behind the two women, there is women. All the wives, they became two parties. And all of them, they are against Muhammad. And look at this verse. Isn't it hilarious? Maybe you did not notice how stupid it is. Look at this. Allah, he heard about the fight between Muhammad and his wives. Aha. Uh -huh. So Allah, he wrote to Muhammad. And he told him to tell his wives the following. If you both, Turn into Allah repentant for your heart desire. I mean, this translation is horrible. What, let, me, let me change translation. What this guy, Big Tal? I think this guy is using Google translation. I'm not sure what is wrong with those people. Let us see another idiot. If you both turn to Allah, then indeed your heart are already inclined. And if you back up each other, uh huh, against him, against him, who Muhammad, look at this Allah talking to those women. Okay, what will happen? Then surely, then surely Allah is his guardian. If, 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 and Jibreel, if, 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 if. and the believers, look what the heck. 
and furthermore all the angels in the world in his side all of this to fight two women with those I can find the whole universe the man is fighting with two females they are five foot tall why I need Allah and every believer Al-Qaeda ISIS Jack and Nick, brother a brother theater I encourage every believer to carry the sword because today the prophet he have a fight with his wife and we are going to teach them how to behave Allah Akbar what the heck is that it is two females and they are the wives of Muhammad and now we have to invite Allah to the fight and then Jibreel and Jibreel alone he have 600 wings which means if Jibreel fart he can kill them if he just, if he just move one feather of his of his wings all of those to fight against two women and here you see the Muslim they lie to us they say do you know how good the Prophet was for his wives brother yeah I can tell to the point he could not control them and they were so upset from his majesty who was sleeping around cheating on them And actually, I'm, I'm scared now of women. If Muhammad needed Allah and Jibreel and every believer and all angels to fight against two women, what will happen to me if I have a wife? So, guys, now you understand my situation, brother. I, I hope you understand the situation. It's very dangerous to have a wife. Look what happened to Muhammad and learn from the story. Hmm? <sighs> Any Muslim? Surely you want to beat me? What does that mean? Are you asking for my hand? <laughs> anyway. And then look. Allah, maybe his Lord, he if he divorce you, Allah is saying maybe if his Lord divorce you, well he's Allah. So what? Maybe his Lord divorce you, and I thought the man he divorced the wife, not Allah. And he will give you a better exchange. By the way, here the translation is a lie. It says he will give him in your place better than you. It doesn't say that. It says exchange you. And by the way, this verse is made by Omar. Omar, he said, my God agreed with me. Allah agreed with me in three. One of them is the hijab and this one and the Kaaba. Any Muhammadan? Why you are uh, laughing, at Glory? Glory, come on, so show us some respect. Put yourself in the in the flip flap of Muhammad, and you have two wives. What will happen to you? Uh, come on, we have to be honest here. You can tell this guy he have a cross eyes because of how many wives he have, and he have thirteen mother in law. Any Muslim have anything to say? What is this? Yeah, for sure I have a cross eyes, you know. <clears throat> One of the reasons, by the way. <laughs> uh, let's, let us not talk about the cross eyes for now. Maybe later, this is a different topic. Oh, boy. Any Abdul? Sibir? Who is Sibir? You mean Shabir Ali? I don't know. This guy will never debate me. He's a coward. Potato. Where are the moderator? Maybe they are having their dinner. What do you think? They live for a Christian prince? I mean, those people, they have their life. How they knew that I'm here? 
I took them into surprise, but, you know, they, they didn't know exactly the time I go. That's why we have only 529 people. Any Muslim? Any Mohammedan? Oyero TV. As long you are a fan of CP, why why it's getting hot here? Turn your fan on. I live in an area where the winter is extremely, extremely harsh. Actually, I want to move out of here, but uh, you know, you need to afford it. It's not easy. It's extremely harsh. I don't believe it. Last year we have almost minus 36, I think. 30, 36. You believe it? Minus 36 and there's zero. I mean, come on. And they say to us a global warming. You're right. Can you explain for us chapter 70, verse number 40? My friend, nobody can explain the Quran save Allah. Don't try. <laughs> What, what, why you want uh, chapter 70, verse number 40? What is special about it? Come on, this is uh, beautiful. Uh, I will let Allah answer. I, I told you, I don't know how to explain this one for you. Uh, to make it simple, Allah, He, he told the Muslims in the Quran that there is two east and two west. This is why he said the Easts and the Wests. There's two East and two West. If we go in the Quran, we will find <clears throat> that Allah is the Lord of the two East. Hold on. Do you see it? Chapter 55, verse number 17. That will explain to you the verse you are asking about. Why it says, He is the Lord of the Easts, not one East, and the Wests, not one West. For there is two East and two West. And the reason Muhammad, he thought there is two East and West, anyone knows why? Anyone knows why? Karina, what is your question? Hold on, I don't see your question. Anyone knows why there's two there's two east and west according to Allah? Muhammad is a smart ass. So he was thinking, why in this in the winter the sun is different from this from the from the from the summertime? <laughs> why it appeared from different direction? It appeared from east, yes, but it, there is a big difference. So Muhammad uh, he is carrying the legions before him. Where there's two east and there's two west. For the east in the winter is different from the east on the in the summer. Are you getting the point? Did I answer you, my friend? And this is additional proof that Muhammad is an idiot. Who he thinks that there's two east and two west. But in fact, this is there is no two east, two, no two west. All right. Now, where is the question, Carolina? She said she asked me. I don't see your question. Where is your question? I'm going back. I don't see your question. We cannot make women angry, my friend. It's risky. We just talk about the violence, domestic violence, how, how men they are suffering from women beating. I don't see your question, uh, Caroline. Caroline, you're a female, right? Where's your question? Please, I want to stay alive. Spare my life. We cannot handle long nails. Do we have any Muslim want to say something to us?
did Khadija keep Muhammad under control? Yes, during the time of Muhammad, uh, marrying to Khadija, obviously Muhammad did not dare uh, to uh, to to play with his tail. That's why he did not marry any other women. After Khadija she died, he got her money. He started marrying every few, you know, right and left. Uh, Caroline, Surat and Nas. What about it? You see, Carolina, you have to give me the question. Okay, what about certain Nas? That's it, certain Nas. What about it? Shouldn't you give me what the question about it? What about certain Nas? You want to talk about magic? Is that what you're talking about? Okay. Muhammad, Muhammad is the same as many false people who believe in the black magic. Uh, and he is saying to you, that people who they make uh, they, they make magic and then uh, you know this magic he been been taught by the evil shaitan but in different verse it says that Allah he sent two angels Harut and Marut if you remember in this verse supposedly if you seek refuge by Allah saying this statement the black magic will not work on you and the whisper of the devil will not function All right. If you go a verses before it, you will see the following. Muhammad he said, "Qul a'udu bi Rabbi al-Falaq min sharri ma khalaq min sharri ghasiqin iza waqab." Here you will see that Allah is saying to the Muslim, "Say, I seek refuge by Allah of the daybreak. The daybreak is evil. When the sun coming, remember Muhammad he said." When uh, uh, when you don't pray when the sun is coming when you see the sun is coming in the sky For it's coming from between the two horns of the devil. So daybreak is a sensitive time uh, From the evil in which had he created From the evil of darkness with intense And by the way here the interpretation of this Muslim they disagree about what it's meant because min sharri ghasiqin idha waqab waqab here is a standing up and I don't want to go sexual, but it is about sex. Aisha, she come to Muhammad and she start playing with his hair. So Muhammad, he said, Min idha waqab, which means his private part. See, you know, like he's, I don't know. Read my book. I cannot go here. Uh, YouTube will take my video. <laughs> Get my book, Sex and Allah. <laughs> It's about the private part of Muhammad. Muhammad, he could not have sex with Aisha. So when Aisha, she started touching his hair, Muhammad, he claimed that Shaitan came to her. And he is the one who is asking her to have sex with him. And obviously, Muhammad, he is in disability because, so what? I mean, your wife, she want to have sex, so what? If this is the case. But Muhammad, because he cannot, he blame Aisha that her Shaitan, he come to her. Actually, maybe we can find the hadith where it says, uh, let us see in English. Fatmos, I'm lying. Why you don't call me Fatmos? In the front of everybody. If I am lying, everybody will laugh. Is that correct, guys? What do you think? All the Arab, they call Muhammad. He is a satanic messenger. Read with me carefully. Oh, Allah Apostle. Allah Apostle became sick and he could not offer the night prayer. Okay. A woman, she came to Muhammad and said to him, has your shaitan, your Satan forsaken you? Do you see it? Abdul, do you see it? So the Arab, they believe Muhammad, he is possessed by the Satan, not by God. Read it. Now, if you go a little bit, uh, here we go. This is the hate about Aisha, the one I mentioned to you. I look, Aisha, she's saying, I look Allah uh, for Allah Messenger and I put my hands in his hair. He said, your shaitan has come to you. Do you see it, uh, Fatmos? You said, I'm lying. Muhammad claimed that Aisha, she have a shaitan when he uh, could not have sex with her. 
he he want to blame the shaitan that the shaitan brought her to play with his hair. Well, she is his wife. If the wife she cannot play with your hair, she will play with the hair with who? With the puppy. Why you marry her if you cannot have sex with her? What do you want from this woman? Any Muhammadan? Why shaitan is coming to her? And not only that, she said to him, Do you have shaitan too? He said yes, but he became a Muslim. Muhammad claimed that his shaitan is a Muslim. Are you there? So anyway, that verse we were talking about, when Muhammad, his private part could not function, Muhammad, he claimed that the shaitan, you know, seek, seek refuge from Allah when your private part is in that situation. And Muhammad here, he claimed that there is an evil witchcraft on him and how we can sponsor this claim because it's not a claim, we can prove it. And by the way, it says here, and the, from the evil of uh, the witchcraft, it, in fact, it does not say that. It says, from the evil of the, the one who blow on the knot. What is the knot? You make a knot like voodoo. If we change the translator, let us see what will happen. See? We just change the translator, and translation totally changed, because they lie. So those who blow in the knot, so the Arab they believe if somebody blow for you in a knot, he can make a knot for you, and he blow in it, he can control you. So this is about the penis of Muhammad who was not able to function no more because somebody he blow a knot on him. How we can prove that? Anyone remember? The hadith says that, confirming exactly what we are saying. If we go in the hadith, we will find the following. Uh That the prophet after he been bewitched he imagined he has doing things but in fact he did not this is Sahih Bukhari do you see it if we go a little bit down we will find the following that Muhammad he imagined himself having sex but in fact he never did the prophet continues for such and such period imagining that he had had intercourse are you there, the Muslim who kept saying, who said to me, you are lying? Did I lie? As you see, this is about the private part of Muhammad. Yeah, yeah, I will make a video about it. You know, I will make, I promise you. Give me more names about Muslim scholars so we can put their images together and say, hey, all of you, Indonesian Abdul, we have somebody here is challenging you, and I want you guys to spread it all over. And put sub subtitle what he was before Islam Muhammad uh, Muhammad was a pagan person and uh, the Quran says what it's meant like maybe he was uh, you know believing in many religions you see the Quran the problem with Muhammad is the Quran Quran getting him busted and the hadith this guy he cannot keep his mouth shut All right. If we go in the Quran, we will find that the Quran come from that Muhammad he don't have faith, and he was. You see, the, what the Muslim they say to us, they say that the Muhammad before he became a prophet, he was Abrahamic, correct? He was always following Abraham, but that's stupid to say, because this is totally contradict the Quran. For the Quran says that Muhammad he do not know what is faith. Let us go here. <clears throat> <laughs> oh boy do we have any Muslim I mean this website is horrible it's better maybe to go and uh, okay
Let us see. I think we have a Mustang is texting me. No? Ex-Muslim. Okay. Ex-Muslim. How somebody leave Islam? I don't understand. I mean, this is the most amazing religion, brother. We should not do that. I mean, this website is really amazing. When I click at the thing, it doesn't open it. Let us try again. Unbelievable. Okay, let us try this. <clears throat> hmm. Even when we try to go to the chapter, it's not working. Let me try in the front website. Hold on. I need to go to chapter Ashura. Ashura. Forty-two, forty-two, fifty-two. All right, we could not open it in that website for some reason. It's not working. Here it says, "وَكَذَلِكَ أَوْحَيْنَا إِلَيْكَ رُوحًا مِنْ أَمْرِنَا مَا كُنْتَ تَدْرِي مَا الْكِتَابُ وَلَا الْإِيمَانُ and we reveal to you from our book, and you know not what is faith and what is book. So Muhammad, he was not a believer. You did not know before, revelation come to you, you do not know the book, and you do not know even faith. Let us see now if it's going to work. This the website here was stubborn. I could not work it. Let us see. If we go. Well, I try to open it. <coughs> All right. And for some reason it became smaller. Okay. You see, here it says, you know not, you know not what is the scriptures, and you know not what is faith. So Muhammad, he have zero knowledge of the scriptures, which means he was not following anything from Abraham to Moses, to Jesus, to anyone. He do not know anything about any scriptures. This is the Quran. And he do not know what is faith. You can change the translation if you don't like this one. This is Biktar. We can go to any other donkey. Let's choose Yosef Ali. And thus we have, have we, by our command, sent inspiration to thee. Thou knows not before what was revelation and what was faith. So how the Muslim they lie to us and they say Muhammad was Abrahamic. If he was Abrahamic, he know what faith, and he know what is revelation. Is that correct? Any Muslim have a comment? So why they lie to us and they say Muhammad was Abrahamic? Always was following Abraham. He believed in the religion of Abraham. This is how easy it is to debunk and this stupid cult. But you see, the point is, they speak to people who do not know. And as long as you do not know anyone, anyone can, can prove you wrong. Prove you wrong not because you are wrong, but because you do not know.
You know what they can say now? I am uh, giving you a false translation. This is their this is their translation. This is not my translation. This is Mohammedan translation. Black cat is threatening me. Yeah, according to Muhammad, black cat, black dogs, black animals are are uh, the devil. Black snake. Muhammad he says, kulla aswadin bahim. Kill every black animal, pure black. And the black here, cat here, I think this is a Muslim maybe. Only 572 viewers. Your Muhammad, he spent his life, he got only 17 half of them his slaves. He forced them to follow him. <laughs> he spent his life, he have nobody, he have no viewers. What are you talking about, Abdul? 565, 60 people listening to me. I did not even tell them I'm coming online. I took them into surprise amazing and you are one of them which make you more stupid by the way because you are talking about love you but you are one of them so why you are there hmm why you are there are you stupid or what Obviously you are. Oh, sorry, I have to take the word stupid because then the, the stupid ones will sue me. They are not they are not fit to be between them. Even stupid ones do not drink camel urine. Trust me. They don't. I mean, you have to be mentally ill to drink camel urine and think it's Pepsi. And you think it's healthy. It's an acid. Pure acid. How you can promote my channel? Don't promote my channel. I don't care about my channel. Promote your channel. Download my video, share it with your friends. I don't care about promoting my channel. Sharing the truth is what we care for. Promote the truth, my friend. Don't promote me. I do not need your promotion. God is my helper. I will do what I'm doing. If there's one person watching, or there's 10, if there's 100, if there is 500, it doesn't matter. I will be doing it. I was doing it before. I will do it in the future. I was writing my books. There's people listening, not listening. I don't care. I'm not doing. I'm not doing for a fame or to uh, to be uh, known or to be uh, 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 like. Uh, this is why you don't even know my name. What I'm getting from this, you do not know who I am. If I go in the train next to you and sit next to you, you do not know Christian Prince. There's no glory for me in what I am doing because the Lord He said even if you give with the right hand, don't let the other right hand, you know, left hand know. So you do not know who I am. I'm not doing it for myself. You do not know me. The truth, my friend, is what we are fighting for. The truth will set you free. Don't promote my channel. Promote the truth. Take side with the Lord, not with the Christian prince. Never take a side with the man. If the man stand with the Lord, stand with him. Always stand with the Lord, not with the man. So if it happened that this man stand with the Lord, then you stand with this man. Don't take a side of a man. It doesn't matter who is he. All men are sinners, including me. Otherwise, you will be disappointed. You see, if you put your trust in a man, and when I say a man, I mean man or woman, doesn't matter. If you put your trust in a man, you will be disappointed because we are not perfect and we do wrong. So if you see somebody standing with the Lord, preaching for him, saying the truth for his sake, not for his sake as a person, for the sake of the Lord himself, then we take the side of the Lord, the truth. That's why Jesus says, I am the truth. I am the resurrection. I am the life. And he was speaking about himself, not me. I am not the truth. I am not the resurrection. I am not the life. I am just sharing the truth about the Messiah. So stand with the truth. Stand with Jesus. Anything else is false. And those who work for themselves, they will not receive the blessing of the Lord. This is what Jesus said. Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my Father. Many of them, they say, we made miracles in your name. Well, they did it for their fame, for their publicity. 
to get money you did not do it for the Lord now do we have any Muhammadan here any Muhammadan nobody Joyce don't wish all Christian to become like me that would be a disaster Christians are very beautiful people I'm not <laughs> why you are doing that uh, the truth in two weeks CP will be gone and who is next okay black cat take care brother. take care okay say hi to mommy why you don't make it two weeks make it now like making this appear right now ask your god allah to make me disappear right now you know one day christian prince will die and they will say allah see we pray to allah and allah he killed him i'm getting your god busted since i was a kid now it's too late i went to serve in the army and i came back and i found the Muslims have a party in Paltok saying celebrating the death of a Christian prince. You believe it? They spread rumors that a Christian prince got killed. Allah killed him. So I went to Paltok co admin and I said to him, I remember this is because it was funny. I said to him, There's people they are celebrating my death. Do you allow that to have like a chat room having my name celebrating the death of a Christian? Prince? So the admin, look how smart he is. He said, Are you saying you are not dead yet? What? He said to me, are you saying you are not dead yet? I'm talking to him, the idiot. I mean, what? I don't know what people drink. I don't know what they eat. I don't know what kind, what is inside their head. He's asking me, are you saying you are not dead yet? I said, I think I'm not yet. I think so. I'm talking to you. You know, man. So, uh, we will not keep you longer. We want to just to share this information with you and to show you how those people are hypocrite. Don't forget, please, to download the video as soon as we finish. Uh, spread all over, and we will be happy to uh, uh, to take you. Uh, ultimate truth. Uh, yeah, this is a, this guy is a kid. We know we spank him one hundred times. I'm not interested no more. You know, there is some 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 kind of uh, those uh, Abdul. It's just like like an old shoes. It, from using it too much, you don't want it no more. There's many holes in it already. He can say whatever he wants. The videos are there. People are laughing. So anyway, you guys, uh, please download the video after we finish right away, and share it around. And we will make a video soon challenging those who claim to be themselves a scholar so if you know some scholars if you have their like twitter page link uh send it to me in patreon or in skype uh so i will make a video challenging them all and let us see if something will come out of this challenge let us see it's going to be very embarrassing for those who claim to be scholars and as you see each time we challenge them nobody show up because your reputation speed you your reputation speed you and this is what exactly happened always they look for me they search me and they say oh oh not this guy not this guy and be my witness let us see if they will dare to do it so i want to say thank you for being here may the lord bless you all and please download the video immediately after we finish it take maybe 15 to 20 minutes to be loaded all in youtube and then after that you can download it and share it with your friends thank you Christ is Lord and Islam is false and see you soon again.